Hi everyone, so this short video is just going to take us through signing into Google Chrome and you'll need to be able to do this um, to access all of the college's systems. So uh, if you can already do this, you already know how to sign into Chrome, then you feel free to skip ahead and just uh, go ahead and do that. But I'm going to go take it step by step for those that have never done it before. If you've used Firefox or Internet Explorer or something that's not Google Chrome as a browser, um, you need to go and download Google Chrome first. Um, you'll need that to access college. So once you've done that uh, and you've opened up Google Chrome, you should see a window similar to this. Now, if you've already signed into Google Chrome, you've already got a Gmail account uh, like I have. So I'm in my personal account now. What I need to do is go and add my college account. So let's just uh, call this my college account. I don't want a desktop shortcut. And I'm just going to add that in. Now, once you've done that, you should see the picture in the top right has changed. It was my face. Now it's uh, this little animal. Uh, and I am already a Chrome user because I've already got my college account. My details are on the right hand side of this video. Um, and they are my college ID. So that's my five numbers. Um, I'm not going to use my five numbers because I'm not a student, but you will be. Um, so use your five numbers at progen.ac.uk. Click next, type in your password, and the password uh, is also, uh, the format of the password is also to the right-hand side of this video. If you have any problems with any of this, just um, set, uh, send the help request just underneath in the form as well. So once I've done that, click next, sign in. Always click, yes, I'm in, to turn on sync. That just makes everything a lot easier. And then once that's uh, done, you should now have full access to your college account. So in the top right hand corner, you can go in, you can go into Gmail and just check that your Progen College emails come up. And once that's done, everything should be signed in. You should be able to continue with the induction. If you do have any questions, just click on the get help button just underneath this video.